hey guys what's going on so in this video we'll be learning about git reset now reset is used to revert back to a particular commit now let's take a scenario so what i have here is a couple of commits that i already made so let me go back and print out the commits by typing git log dash dash one line and if you don't know what exactly is log and one line i have actually created a video for that and you can go ahead and watch it i will give the link down in the description or you can click on the card which appears in the top right corner all right so if i do git log one line you will notice that i have three commits with three three different commit ids first commit is the initial one second commit and the third commit currently i'm at the third commit all right so let's suppose what i want to do is uh, let me actually go ahead and make a change over here this is the fourth commit all right so let me go ahead and commit this one Okay commit dash am both commit that's changed now if you want to take a look at the content inside you can do that by detaching your head and freely looking around so let me actually do a git log one line and let me copy this commit id and let me detach my head as you can see here i am in a detached state now i can freely look around the commits so let me show you all the commits okay let's look at the first commit control c git check out so first commit had only this content this is the first commit let's go ahead and check out the another content which is this one so git check out the second commit so as you can see head is now at this commit id and the commit message is second commit and the commit contained these contents so i hope you understood how i have actually structured my contents so with each commits i have added the corresponding commit so for the first commit i wrote this is the first commit in the second commit i appended this is the second commit message and so on so let me quickly go back to my master branch all right so the currently we are having these many commits cool so suppose what happens is that hey i i made a mistake and i don't actually want this fourth commit to be made I want to go back to the second or third commit okay let's go back to the third commit so in order to do that we make use of the reset command and there are two ways you can reset first is via using a hard option and the second is via soft option let's actually start off with the soft flag or soft option so in soft option what it does is it preserves the current state inside the working directory and it will take you back to the previous commit so let me actually log the commit again log one line and let me go back to the third commit right let's copy this and if i go back to the third commit i can do git reset dash dash soft and paste the commit id and if i press enter you will notice that that these current contents won't be modified according to this third commit so in third commit we knew that we only had contents from first to third so it won't alter the current contents inside the file to the contents which was inside the third commit so if i do it will be much better so if i go ahead and hit enter and if i type git log you would see now the head is at the third commit and you remember what was exactly in the third commit we had contents from this the first commit all the way till this the third commit now when i did a reset soft what it did was it took me back to that previous commit without actually changing these contents in order to commit you can go ahead and type git commit and do it so if i show you the git status you'd see that current pi.py is modified and you can commit the changes right so we actually remove that fourth commit and now we are the third commit and we can make the current changes cool okay so that was about the re reset soft so soft won't change the content inside your file or i should say it won't override the current content inside the file with the contents inside the commit you referred to so in this case we moved back to the third commit without even actually changing the current contents inside all right okay so that was all about the soft reset let's go ahead and actually commit this one so commit am and if i say third commit and let's put it as revisited just in case to show that we have revisited the third commit and if i log it with on uh, with a one line flag and now you can see that the third commit revisited gets committed after the third commit so if i go ahead and check out the third commit so let's go ahead and check out the third commit control c you can notice that the fourth line now is gone let's once again use the soft command 
so let's check out towards the master branch cool now we are at the current commit now let's go back to the second commit without changing the contents inside we can do that by typing reset soft and let's quickly copy that second commit id let's copy this come all the way down paste it and hit enter now let's go back and see the log one line and you would see that we are now at the second commit and the contents inside is still the same now one thing you have noted is that the soft reset did not change the content inside and i keep repeatedly telling you this that's because the next option which is git reset hard will actually delete the contents inside to that particular comment now i'll be coming to the hard part right now okay so let let me quickly go ahead and create the four commits properly so let me actually go ahead and delete this one okay we are in the second commit right so let's go ahead and create the third commit this is the third commit hit enter save it now let's commit this get commit dash am Code commit i'm actually capitalizing this so that you understand that this is a new commit let's commit that and let's actually put a fourth commit this is the fourth commit let's save it and let's commit it as the fourth commit get commit dash am and let's actually type four commit and if we check the log okay let me actually show you the one line i can see that we actually did a quite a good job after second commit these two commits are new all right so now i would like to introduce something called as the hard reset so hard reset not only will take you back to the mentioned commit but it will also change the content inside to what was inside that commit so if i do say if i want to go back to the second commit what i can do is git reset dash dash hard copy the commit id and paste it over here now you would notice that if I hit enter, the contents got reset or you can say overrid what it was inside the second commit. Okay, so that was the difference between hard reset and a soft reset. Hard reset will completely change the content inside to that mentioned commit. And as you can see that there is no option to commit further. In, re in soft reset, it gave us an option to commit further. But in hard reset, it, it didn't give us an option to commit further. Okay, now let's consider a scenario and suppose that you want to undo this reset. Unfortunately, you reset to a bad commit or you can say a wrong commit ID. And now you want to undo that reset and bring back all the content. So in order to do that, you can make use of this hard reset to achieve that. So to do that, you can do git reset dash dash hard. And there's a special head notation which we'll be covering in the git ref log part and by the way if you haven't watched the git ref log i'll give a link to the description below or you can watch it from the card at the top right corner okay so i'll pass a head notation which will get me back to a position where i was just before this reset i can do head at one now if i hit enter i am back at the fourth commit so hard as i told you will completely change the content and take you back to that commit while soft won't change the content inside your working directory but will take you back to that commit where you wanted to go and also that the reset hard head notation to undo your reset won't work every time so after a long period of commits this won't actually work and ultimately it will throw you an error all right guys that's all for this video i hope you understood about git reset and how to reset the bad commits you made and if you really like this video you can do a couple of things to support us the first and the easiest one is to simply like the video and subscribe to our channel and you can also support us by spreading the words to others who really want to learn about uh, git and more tech stacks and this will not only help us to grow but we will also be able to help them all right guys see you in the next lecture